This is Sport Night Amplified with Anguilla, powered by SABC Sport. Exclusive to Metro FM. Game over. In exactly one hour, 40 minutes, the PSL season would have officially begun. In exactly an hour, 40 minutes, the PSL season would have begun. Yeah, am I right? Yes, I am right. My maths is not too bad, ne? No, 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 I'm wrong. An hour, 20 minutes. In an hour, 20 minutes, it would have begun. Sundowns versus Kukuna. So, it's Podcast Fridays. The guys are in studio. Who do you think is most likely to win the league? This is based on what you've seen in the off-season, plus what you've seen happen last season. Who do you think is going to be your top three? Who do you think is going to be at your bottom three because of the business they've done in the last month or so? Welcome to it. My name is Andy Dengube. This is Sports That Amplified with Andy Le. It's Podcast Friday. We've got the new elected mayor of KZN. He's on the line, ladies and gentlemen. He goes by the name Pro Pilani, all the way from Dubai. Pro! Good evening, Pudandile. Good evening to the Jansen Studio. And good evening to all the listeners of this number one sports show in South Africa. He's worked to our Obuvuli Stadium when I'm Ah, I'm facing those are corner. And we ask now, when the defending champions are playing, um, yeah, everybody, who put them on the notebook. Mkonza, I'm sure, the Peter Manut book, but I'm not in Amtlanje, because he knows who to the Bugu University of Football. There we go. It's 11 after the hour 6. I'll introduce the guys. We'll talk to you about the business of today. We'll get into Banyana Banyana. I've got one gentleman in studio who says, I don't care. Andile should start the next game, and this is why. I've got somebody else who says, I'm not sure. She hasn't played all tournament, so therefore, perhaps she must sit it out. What about the season that's to be? Where do they see Kaiser Chiefs? finishing based on the change in coaching based on who they've signed are orlando pirates are orlando pirates the favorite over sundowns in this coming season remember we take your calls at 1845 on 086-000-2160 whatsapp on 060-552-7303 and we give away that device courtesy of telcom to one person pro plan is prim konza nadim dukele welcome back nadim they're all in studio <laughs> yeah thank um, you Andy. <laughs> And we're going to be talking about all things PSL season that we're looking forward to. But before we do that, we're going to perhaps start our conversation with Banyana Banyana. Then I'll give you a couple of my thoughts and my stats and then hand it over to you guys. Right? We'll look at the weekend. We'll look at the PSL overall. Who do you think will finish first, second? That's the most important. Those are the Champions League slots. Then we'll look at the bottom. Who do you think will finish bottom three? And over and above that, who's done the best business, the worst business? We'll take a look at It's a prelude to, to, to the season that will be. But firstly, let's start in Australia. Banyana Banyana playing their game on Sunday, right? They're playing a strong Netherlands team. Pro, Banyana Banyana on Sunday. Your thoughts? You, but then it's going to be a difficult game. We are playing against a side um, that has beaten us three times before. Uh, in our last uh, match against them, they gave us a 5-1 uh, beating. Mm. But, um, you know, um, tournament football is a strange uh, kind of game because... Uh, you, you you can always look it. You can always score one and pack the pass and win the match. And uh, to be honest with you, it is you. It banyana banyana will will make it through. But in reality, it is a you know the Labanto Mataf. But uh, I'm just hoping and I'm trusting. Of course, there's I'm co- I'm trusting the ladies who would say they are going to, to to pull out a good fight. And put Andy, to be honest with you, um, I, I really pray you to banyana banyana pull through and and, and progress to the next round. I mean, prayers. I'm not sure if it's enough here. We're talking about statistical football, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you hang on that one. You know, women have done so well for us, and we continue to celebrate them on Women's Month. I mean, from here, I'm gonna go watch my daughter, who's also a competitive soccer player. She's singing in a choir today. Uh, my other daughter, Anto Mutanda Issa Gabby, is on the way there. So, women are phenomenal at the moment. They're doing so well from my home to your home to outside of that. Mkonza, oh pro ngambona, oh kumanga bo hope. Is it feasible? Is it possible? Do Banyana Banyana beat Netherlands? If so, what do they have to do? 11 against 11, and the, uh, the opportunity. Competitiveness is also uh, as important as a natural talent. I think Banyana Banyana, if you watch the last second half of the match that we've just played, we won. Speaks to a Banyana Banyana that um, psychologically we're ready, we're prepared. Yes, we didn't start well the match, but second half showed a different Banyana Banyana in terms of being competitive, in terms of the fighting spirit. And I think going going to Holland, also what will have a bit of quality. We have equality, but we haven't imposed our game. If you watch all the three matches that we've played, every time we are playing, we're trying to defend what we were, the goals that we, we, we've scored. So this is an opportunity. On paper, Holland is stronger, cool, not. But Mama Pega say must on the ground eleven against eleven with Taluni chance. See a gulle came see among underdogs. Opportunity for us less expectation. Let, let, let me ask it like this. What does Desiree have to do to win this game? 
first of all, I spoke about the tactics. And remember last week, Friday, we spoke about that. I'm worried about with the fact that the reason we concede is after scoring a goal, we change our structure is uh, to say we want to defend. We low block ourselves. And I don't understand why we do a low block because we have natural. Now we rely on team. Similar to what Zambia were doing by putting Upa under alone up front. Mm. So no TMB, that's what that's our strategy. And for me, it has never worked. And we've got in a way with Meda. This is the time where we need to come out tactically and show with self gravity Natural ability and talent is again, but also psychological we need to be prepared. So when are you just saying don't rely heavily on TMB? That's your tip. No, you can't because okay. it becomes predictable, it's easy. Madim? I think the Netherlands are going to go through the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup. Mm. Banyana, banyana, because the coach has been making mistakes from the first match of the tournament where he selected the wrong goalkeeper, who's not even the number one goalkeeper of the national team. And Nogomatlo was dropped again for the first match. Thank God he was brought back in the second one, yeah. where she did brilliantly. I, only, I honestly think that you cannot beat Netherlands with obvious choices in terms of selection. Banyana, banyana, I think that to beat Netherlands, one, they need to Play the, play the best goalkeeper in South Africa, which is Andy Lamini, who has been really, really impressive. Of course, winner. Sundowns has also won a lot of tournaments. I mean, I, I know a lot about her. I know even her personally. She's brilliant. She's been part of the national team setup where she has done uh, well. And if you look for offensively, I mean, Banyana, Banyana. Be- before you go offensively, let me just quiz you on what you've just said. Mm. You're saying Andy Lamini should play the next game. Definitely. She's the best I'm goalkeeper. saying to you, she hasn't played, Since she's played five matches. No, she's this fit. Entire she's fit now. She was injured. Remember, and she hasn't played this entire tournament. It doesn't either. matter. She's she's the best goalkeeper in a, in a team. If you want to win, that's the reason why Carlo Ancelotti was nearly sacked by Madrid. Uh, Perez told him that when he dropped Tony Cruz and Modric, when he drew with Atletico Madrid, that you must always start with your best players. The best players, Koto at Madrid or the head Man United. It doesn't matter how long has he been out. You put your best number one in your. In your you don't say and then last one on the same. If yeah, Dejo says she wants to play from the back. And she says that Kaylin is better from playing from the back. She's a better passer of the ball from the back, and she's got that uh, the distribution that is yeah. better than Andiles. That's what that's, I'm just telling you. What the coach yeah. said. It doesn't matter. Watch football. We know that she doesn't even mean that. And I spoke to her two days ago. She doesn't mean what we're saying. That was for the media. The fact is, the best goalkeeper is Andiles. I mean, he needs to play. Uh, Kaylin Swart is. Why was he not playing all along if she was the best pretender of corner and all those kind of things? It can't be that Kellen suddenly she's the best goalkeeper in South Africa just in the last two matches. All along, Andy, for the past 10 years, has been solid. I honestly don't believe that. She doesn't even mean it. I know Desiree, I've known her for the, here at the CPC for the past 15 years. Andy, that I mean, it's super proud because that's by Fana Fana, Ulokan by Fana Fana, Banyana 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 on Monday at the OR Tambo International Airport in your city of Ekurule. 20 minutes after the hour six, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. When we come back, we focus now. There's a game at half past seven. We'll do that one last. We need to speak about the season holistically. Where does who finish? According to the business they've done, according to how they finished last season, when you pick it up now and you look at the squads that have been announced, that have been holistically uh, come out, we've seen all of them. We were, we've done the kits. We're grateful. Thank you so much for the kids. Now let's talk football. It's Podcast Friday. The whole gang is here. Pro Pilane uh, from Eteguini. We've got um, Konza uh, as well as uh, Nadim is here as well. Hey, Nadim. Hey, Kama, hey, Kama, la Kuman Leba Shula, man. Hey, Twitter, Twitter, hey, Andile. Hey, including Unati, Nati, ma, Umati, mm. Mamma. How do you spell your name? Yeah, now Leak Shula, man. Nadim. Nadim. Oh, Nadim. Now go, Nam Leak Shula, Nadim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's N A I D M, not Yeah, yeah, yeah. Konza, we'll call now. That's wrong. <laughs> and of course, we've got Konza as well. Former Golden Arrows, Kaiser <laughs> Chiefs, <laughs> Blue <Bluefoot> Celtic, <laughs> Super Sport, <laughs> Amazulu, Maritzbeck United. Ah, team of the Cats are spending now. We're just spending not even last week. Wow. Okay, guys, let's get into it. The season is upon us. It kicks off um, in an hour, ten minutes from now. Yeah. Sundowns are going to be playing Skukuni in the first yeah. game. But before we go into the actual games, I want to know the overall. Mm. Starting with the bottom. No, let's start at the top. Yeah. Looking at what the teams have done mm. in the preseason, yeah. looking at what they did last season, yeah. looking at the players acquired and bought, yeah. which team do you think is strongest to take the PSL? Which one do you think is going to be, you know, probably best two, best three? Then we'll take it from there. I want the top three teams mm. by expectations from you this season. The top three. Was there a record? It record you. Yeah, it's out here. Mm. Top three, Sundowns will retain the league. Pirates number two, Super Sport number three. It will remain the same. Mm-hmm. Relegate, relegate. No, just that we'll get to. Tell us why you think those three. The way you think those three. 
I'm looking at uh, what uh, Sundowns have done in a, uh, in, a, in a market. Not much because all of my team are going to I'm assigning to address the issues that they've had last season. But the Sundowns, you can see, they're just building on the foundation that is already there. Yes, they brought in Obas, good signing. No Masego, I think for me, now, they'll, they'll add value to that Sundown side. Sundowns, in momentum, it's high, similar to what Pirates have done. In momentum, they finish strong, like Pirates now. But I believe that the top three will be the Ngaibiza Food TV. The Sundowns will retain the league. Pirates, number, seven, number two. Super Sport number three. Super Sport didn't do much in the corner of business. The, I think the sign is that about Enzi Lamnandi, maybe Zuga Manja, no, no, Kulu, Kulu brings a lot of experience in that, in that Super Sport, Super Sport side. But Duke knows how to win the league. One thing I'm guy on a Yoke Pelaleo, he knows how to win the league, the winning culture, Super Sport. Yes, I see team that one would think would, a team lay in each other, but Duke knows how to win the league. But Pirates finished stronger. Pirates Akulu. finished with the two trophies. But Pirates again, finished on. See, it is secret. So you don't think Pirates can challenge Sundowns? Pirates worry me when I look at them signing. They didn't address what I said. They, they needed to bring. Uh, I, I know Telezium, but again, they need to address issue right back. They need to address issue team yaga teams cover and a decisive strike and deal. They didn't address those. About Kim Vidu and about Kaping and Mamiji Fielders. Maybe they'll play differently. Zakel Lepasa is yes. back. Yes, uh, but Zakel Lepasa we know. But it's a different uh, fish out here. Meuzuli Malalab. You need a strong mentality. You not. Know, it's not just about talented player. And that's why Lamata Bamakulu more play with a strong mentality. Our boy out here. So I think Paris for me. They've done so well. You care is about his table. Trust me. So the reason you think is about his table, but you're still giving them second. Yeah, one second. I need to be funny about you. Pelabaka Valley, by cover in terms of the ground, yes, 80%. But the cafe is about his table because the cafe at his table. All right, and Super Sport finishing in third there. Let's go to Durban now. Pro Pilan is there. Pro, your top three this season and why? Sundown, down. Super Sport United. Uh, Orlando Pirates will finish number three. Why? Mm. Sundowns, I think, I think they will they, they will maintain. I think they are the most consistent team in the league. Um, I think they will continue where they left off. Um, they have uh, refreshed their squad, and I think the quality that they have acquired this season and the guys that they have resigned from loan are going to sustain the quality of Sundowns, and they are going to do it with ease again. With ease, um, it, the gap will, will not be sixteen points this time. I think the gap will be around uh, twelve points, fourteen points. Um, hmm. Super Sports United they have uh, recruited well experienced players like Sianja Tulu I think they are going to, to, to contribute a lot in that defense uh, partnering with Tyson Katuayo and uh, for me uh, Kan Makaman is going to be a big season for him because he's, he's going to be leading that midfield and um, Orlando Pirates well um, uh, I- I- Pirates uh, I want to believe that they are not going to to uh, continue with the form that they finished the season with and um, it's going to be a rebuild for them once again and uh, it's going to be difficult for them to to get them a point in the early stages of the season like they always do and they will always come back strong in the second half of the season and uh, that's for uh, and that's the reason why I feel you would see Orlando Pirates will finish that and mind you there's more games this season because there's another trophy now this season because we're back like to three trophies there's also, there's also Champions League for them and there's Champions League, there's an extra trophy within uh, the Colin Black Label tr- trophy as well that comes in there to replace uh, what used to be Talcom. So there's that as well. Derek Spencer agrees with Pro Pilani. He just sent a text. He says definitely he agrees with Pro. Sundowns number one, Super Sport number two, and Pirates number three. The former Kaiser Chiefs and Sundowns man giving it those three. Let's hear now from Nadim. Nadim, who is it? Yeah, uh, Sundowns are expected to win it simply because... They're a team that are really impatient when it's come to losing. Even if Rolanet doesn't start the season well, they can replace him easily if he can lose three games in a row and get another coach. But they're but not that kind. They're not that kind of team. No, they can. Look what they did to Mangoba when he lost to Pirates and after losing to CS Galax as well, Super Sport United. He was changed. They brought in Rulane. They put him as a senior head coach. They are like that. They are not going to wait now. Pizzo maybe he has done well so much uh, to a point where he became an iconic coach of the club. But Rulane is not. It's just like not his, yet. Yes, he sees full, first full season as a head coach. So I feel Sundowns are gonna win the league. I mean, even the way they've signed players, Mendy has has eighteen ten goals and nine assists hmm. from last season. Sundown. They've signed well, and they are replacing. He's replacing Mailula, who also scored fifteen goals last season in all competitions, as well as Mayema is also gonna be good. And then uh, Shaulile and Timbers one. All those players, they will score at least six goals or more. That's why I believe they will be number one. Uh, Pirates, I think they've done a very bad business. They have not addressed a striker. And the Mayela, I think, is not really a 
left back side I, I have a problem with him i honestly think he th- that thing wh- where the coach plays mark is a right back and my like it's it not gonna work uh, th- it makes the team not balanced i feel pirates are not go- running to win even I, I, I i'm tempted not to put them in the top three maybe number four or five so i honestly think what uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, 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 no, 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 honestly, uh, uh, <laughs> grand, uh, grand, okay. there's a reason, okay, so then there's a reason, w- there's, a reason why, there's a reason why, there's a reason why Pirates have not won the league for the past eight years. So, for me, and they haven't addressed those issues, you feel the st- mm. striking, they lost to Gamanji, who scored seven goals. Mm. Remember, to Gamanji, the thing about him, people were didn't say he only played the second half of the season where he played 14 games and scored seven goals. That's 50 percent. They've not replaced a striker at all. Yeah. Uh, Evanga, I hear. I spoke. Can't about to say, guys. Can't you? But Evanga wins on. No, Evanga. Evan, Evanga. All, all those players. Evanga, Zakari Lupaso, Maro, Kemi Rasmus. If you combine all their goals, they, they've not even scored eight goals last season. Yeah. All of them. Not true. That is less. Shaolile scored more goals yeah. than all of the Paris strikers combined. Yeah. Understand. So Remember, who's your number two? Let's leave Paris. Na- if they're number not your number two, who's your number, number two? Number two, just to pick up in hand. Oh, I mean, I remember when it was the Chiefs. He didn't do well, but it's super sport and beat vest. One three league tactics in a row, even at vets, he also won the league. He knows how to win and just coach a consistent team. Super sport United, even the kind of business they did, how they played Pirates with Sukamanji, they did so well in getting him because he's so good. Remember, Kevin Hunt likes aeroplane football where there's crosses and all those kind of things. Sukamanji is a brilliant hitter of the ball, it's one of the best hitters. So it is. Now, now, now we're gonna see the true team of Gavin Huntway. Remember last season he didn't sign players. He nearly he was number two, almost number two. But with now, th- this kind of preparation, oh, it wasn't number two. He wasn't almost number two. He was number. He wasn't number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number he was two. number three. So I honestly think, and Eric Tinkler, Eric Tinkler is the one for me. Is my favorite coach in the PSL. Is, is he of, number three? Yes, for me, he is number Cape three. Cape Town City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Eric. Do you think they're gonna finish third? I honestly think so. Why? Because they don't have the kind of trouble where they will have to go and wake up to Egypt like Pirates where they'll play Champions League. They're only focusing on lo- local trophies. And Eric Tinkler, it's actually back where he is, where he did well. Remember when he was at Cape Town City, he did so well f- the first time around. I'm thinking he's building the kind of team he wants. He's having the kind of players. That's why Makola was not playing. He was the quick players and those kind of... He's getting the kind of team he wants. Cape Town City, they, will, they, they might be there and about. Ladies and gentlemen. So those are my thoughts. But, but Andy, just to close, good tonight, Imo, and I get to hear ring. When you want to win the league, you need to have a good bench. And I'm looking at all, all the teams. Very few teams want a good bench, especially Monga Czech and Orlando Paris. I don't want to see the team. I don't want to see the team. I believe that if you want to win the league, you must have a good bench because to, I'm a suspension as a bamba, my injury. But not to have Pirates okay. in the top three. No, no, no. Look, Pirates, they've got the best goalkeepers. If you look at Ofori, okay, they've done well Utelezi in the and China. They're Any of those can start. Even the defenders, if you look at CB, Sikogi, their central defenders are the best. I mean, I mean, if you look at CB, Sikogi, as well as uh, Nda and and Mte, and Mte, and Mte, and Mte, they are solid. Right so back, then you're still not giving them top three? The strikers, you need goals to to squeeze win matches. matches. Yeah, yeah. I, I, so they will yeah. draw. A lot, I expect them to draw a lot of matches. Pirates. They are not a team right. that lose a lot of games. So we <sighs> draw. You can't win a league with twelve draws. Let's take a break. When we come back on the other side, remember zero eight six double zero zero two one six zero at uh, eighteen forty five. We take your calls 60 double five two seven three zero three. What do you think? When we come back, we do. Who do you think will finish? At the bottom three. The whole gang is here. Pro Pilane. I've got him Konza as well as Nadim. There you <laughs> go. Pro. There's a lot of people speaking about their top three. There's a lot of people who've gotten into the conversation here. And we see them. Uh, let me just highlight a few before we go to the bottom three here. Uh, Spuso Fanaza says the uh, Kaza Chiefs at number one. Masanda one at number two. Orlando Pirates at number three. Um... Who else is here? Abdul. Abdul, always listening to the show. We appreciate it. it says, Sundowns, Chiefs, Pirates. So there you go. The second person to mention Chiefs here, which uh, you guys didn't mention. And let's go to one more here. Um, Ngerlang, Ati, Pirates, Amazulu, Cape Town City, and Super Sport. Those are some of the things that are coming through on social media. Let's go to the bottom now. Pro, which bottom three teams are you foreseeing and why? Number 16. Uh, Automatic relegation. Na- automatic relegation. Ah, that that make me want to ever relegate. I know. I've, I've not heard anything about the Polo City, and I've tried to look at their recruitment and the players that they've signed. I am born in Gutibu Zagash. Polo City, I'll place them at number 16. Number 15, um, with all due respect, I'll, I'll, I'll place Umuk and Mamila and Chippa United. Um, I, I, I'm not quite the sure. The best coach in South Africa. 
the best coach in South Africa. Uh, you know, sometimes you can see the best coach, but each uh, team we get up is that Johannes Kinn was the best coach in South Africa at the time, but he left us down at number 14. Pilani, so, revoke um, your statement. Best coach. Yeah, I mean, yeah, four games in a yeah, row. Well, with you don't three become a best coach in four games. What are you saying? I'm just saying. No, no, I mean, I'm no, telling no, you he, what he, Morgan said. Oh, okay. we must respect. We must respect what Morgan what Morgan said because he's the one that said he's the best coach. So we are respecting that. I uh, now uh, I'm Chief Sunday. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, number and, and so, and so and sixteen and, 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 and then you're seeing uh, uh, um, cheaper and who's above cheaper? Who's also in that uh, relegation spot? Uh, in South Africa, I can like it, and there's something that I'm not happy about. Uh, but uh, I'll confirm. I'll confirm my number fourteen uh, next week. Hi, Pilan. Ah, my buddy. Go fans. Best go fans. Ah, hi, Pilan. My buddy. Go fans. See, Nibam. I'll confirm my number fourteen next week. But uh, <laughs> one of the things that I like it, and there's something I'm not happy about. Tim, uh, confirm it, Leon. All right, it's confirm it. Tim, confirm it. Let Tim go. Sabugu is your just pay. Your just pay. I'm looking all the signings. Uh, there are some issues that they've had last season they still have the issue of travelling that affected them last season if they didn't start well last season I can tell you right now I'm going to ring or something else I'm going to ring or so what about 16 automatic relegation 14, right, 14. 14. Okay, 14 and then I'm going to play off with Chipa which is going to play off playoffs, and then automatic relegation in Pulugwana City so you agree basically in Opilan yeah cash cash why Pulugwana City there you haven't seen them yeah, um, I'm trying to look also good to what they've done in terms of the the, the uh, team aware last season, which I, I was not convinced. Yes, they've done so well by getting promoted, but I'm not convinced Guti Gule Elite League because it was about friend. It's totally different football game, but also tactical and also now Mama business how they treat players it's going to be different. Richards Bay have a new coach, guys. So Okay. Ah, is yeah. you. Nadim? Yeah, I know my number 16. I did say Royal AM will be relegated if they don't. Royal AM? Yes. Oh, At 16? Good. Yes. They will be relegated. They can't sign players. They can't play in Novich. And Yo. they will be relegated. I, well, I didn't think about I that. Cannot, I, I cannot, I cannot that. go what I said. I said one FIFA based, will pay. So based on the ban? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Royal AM, they have to, I mean, they can't sign players. And the players that they had last season, they didn't finish well. They were just a point or two above relegation last season. Just, yeah, two points. So I expect them to go back to the national first division and come and, re- and go and regroup there. So number, I, I'm not happy with Richards Bay. Honestly speaking, I honestly think they finished the season very poorly. They were lucky. That draw against Royal AM, it actually saved them. And lo- looking how Sbon Sokumet is coming as an assistant coach with Kaitano Tembe, it's just like they're just fighting hard to remove Mamkeza from number 16. But we'll see how it goes because they started very well. If they can do that, maybe they can. But Royal M, obvious. And then if you look at Amazulu, I expect them to be relegated. There's nothing. That's all three KZN teams. No, no, no. Only and unfortunately, sometimes it can end up one team being relegated. And then so who's okay? Let me, let me ask you. Who's your number sixteen? Number Automatic 16, relegation. Royal M. Fifteen. Richards Bay. Fourteen. Amazulu. Aye. 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 The reason why I'm not putting Aye. Polo Kwan City, I know it's, di- it's, di- it's, it's difficult to play Polo Kwan City in Polo Kwan. It doesn't matter where you are. They are even in the NFT. I know I saw them how they played uh, Mr. Moka and Moka Mamila. I mean, for me, I don't, I don't, I, I'm still not. No, con- not. Amazulu, Amazulu, in the you? NFT. Homoka and Mamila had to win on penalties when they were playing Polo Kwan City. They are difficult They've got a to new play. coach, they are Spanish. Difficult. We know how the Spanish and South African football get along. We saw what it no. did in, 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 in at Atlanta Pirates. How do you automatically relegate them? I mean, sorry, how do you no, put them, how do you put them in the bottom three? I'm just saying they'll be fighting relegation. Just like last season, they were fighting relegation. Amazon. You don't think they've done well in the market? No, I don't think so. No. Even with the coach, you still have to adapt. And No. I heard that Mwango is leaving, of which is their striker and... Uh, no, Amazon will have to be. They, are, they will have to be fighting for relegation. Why are we? Okay. Yeah, but uh, I don't think they will be in the top eight. Kuluma Pilar. But Kaiser Chiefs definitely they will make the top eight. Nah, Amazon, Amazon will definitely will be in the top eight. Uh, uh, um, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Back can, it up, back it up. Why are they going to be in the top eight? Back it up. No, no, Amazon are going to be in the top eight because they, they they've got. Um, uh, we know I watched them. We we Premier Cup. They look like a solid team. They look like they've organized themselves very well at the back. And uh, they've got a structure that they are following. I, I saw them they, when they changed formation from 3-5-2 or 3-4-3. Mm. 
to a four four two, and I saw how the coach wanted wanted his centre back to play. And you were and impressed. Any, any, team, any team that shows a proper structure is a team that uh, will definitely do well. And they are bringing the surplus package. Udi on Beno Beno uh, Beno Kwem up front. I think they are going to make things happen for Amazulu. And they brought Utsepa Muremi back from HATR, and he, he looked very very lively on the wing. And they've got a young star that is coming up, Umsin Disinkovu. That is going to surprise a lot of people. Okay. I know that last season he was very. Uh, uh, scared to play, but uh, the coach has shown a lot of faith in him, and he's going to do well. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, guys. Uh, we don't have the time, so don't be long-winded on this one. Mm. Um, teams that were not mentioned, no. let's perhaps mention them. There's a newbie in the in the league that you guys are not talking about. Mukonza, Cape Town Spurs. Yeah, I think Cape Town Spurs for me. Bazo Bazo retain his status Sabo. I know Sean uh, personally. I know his, his coaching style is Sasaki. Yes, I've seen they've done a bit of business by Lande Uk, Bukenen, but I don't think that Bukenen will start. But I believe that kept on, it kept on spares. Hey, Dalla Bafun PSL. I mean, they were relegated in 2018. So I think it will be a season here to show competitiveness. They will do well. Tears Galaxy. Nadim. Tears Galaxy, they will survive. Tim Sugaz knows what he's doing. I mean, even the Kabuza will add much needed experience. I think they will just be fighting also be, to make the top eight, but just around 15, 12 or something like that. Uh, Lamontville Golden Arrows uh, pro. Uh, Amatita, they they besides that cheaper game in the last round uh, last season, I think they did fairly well, and uh, they are going to be you know eight, nine, ten. They are going to be around there, but uh, if they don't make the top eight, I think um, it will be a disappointing season for them. Stellenbosch, I'm concerned. Stellenbosch have done well in terms of the business last season. They've made thirteen million. Uh, should Boni business is correct when I but I think they'll do well. They'll finish in top five. Skukune. Skukuna is actually a top team. I mean, they are a solid top seven team in the PSL. If you look how they've signed and the kind of stability with the coach, how they reached the NetBank Cup, they were unlikely not to, I mean, not to beat Pirates there. I mean, that question mark penalty that, that equalized the game. They are a very solid team, Skukuna. I like them. I think they will be in the top seven. Mkanza, Morocco Swallows. Swallows, because of Steve Compella, they will finish a good top eight job. I finish a good top eight man. But number eight. Top eight? Swallows, yeah, so finish. You compare about a little bit of coaching and husband, and then you have a lot of the magic. The one day, this is Lambi, the national team. Oh, okay. uh, he's not young soul. Oh, I'm a team of my name. Oh, I'm a ball. He's a national team. Oh, okay. Not young soul. Oh, okay. I see ball in national team when we count to the 10 teams. Yeah, I'm going to be ball because he's young. Yeah, I'm going to be ball. Okay, so because of Steve Compella and the yeah. recruitment, you think they. And the last one, pro, I'm going to go around with this one Kaiser Chiefs. Ah, I'm a coach, I'm a coach, um, I'm a coach um, I think they're going to be in the top eight. Uh, it's going to be a tough season, trophy-wise. I don't think that they'll get anything, but uh, they're going to make progress and finish in around the semi-finals in the league. They'll finish around fifth or sixth. Mkonza? Top five. Of course, they'll finish the same position they finished, the top five. The three trophies? Rebuild, rebuild rebuild yeah, Bazo Top, Bazo Top, I trophy. Bazo Top, I'm going to go this time. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. Nadim? Mm-hmm. I think they will be number eight. Does the, for me, that's how far I can think. Because one, they've got coaches. You don't even know if they, the relationship will work. Because Atazwane was a head coach last season. Now he's an assistant coach. And if you look, if you look how they signed, I'm still not sure that they have a proper striker that will score a lot of goals for them. So, so eighth in the league, uh, three trophies. Do they get anything? No, Chiefs are unlike with trophies. Remember when they lost to TX Galax while they're in the NFT? No one can tell me that TX Galax were a better team than Chiefs. Yeah. I don't know if they will win a trophy, but I, they can, but I don't think so. Yeah? We are the NFT. Yeah, but from there, Ubuntu Cape Town, NFT. If you, want to see, if you want to check his proper record, go to the NFT. PSL is not ready. We come back on the other side, uh, we take your calls. It's all over to you now. You've heard the chat from the gentleman. Remember, there is a game today. Sundowns are taking on Skukune at half past seven. Sundowns are unbeaten in 15 seasons on opening matches. They've won 10, drawn five since 2008, and they've kept 12 clean sheets. Mm. It's the longest unbeaten run for a PSL side. Yeah? The second to that is Vitz on nine. Tembas Wanum Shishi. He scored in four consecutive season opening games for the PSL. No other player in the PSL history has ever done that. Kaiser Chiefs, they've won just one of their eight season opening games, drawing four and losing the other three since 2015. Orlando Pirates, unbeaten in seven preseason games. However, 
Only one Pirates coach has ever won back-to-back PSL season openers. And this was Papic back in 2004-2005. And lastly, Gavin Hunt has won just one of the seven season opening matches uh, as a super sport coach. So those are all the stats. What do you make not only of this season, but of this weekend? When we come back, we take all your voice notes and calls. We stay connected. Fabulous. No matter where you are or where we are. Metro. Metro FM. It's where you're at. Yo, yo, we gon' get them. Get, get connected. What's at the Metro FM studio? Yeah. 060-552-7303. ma ah, eh, me bo, bo, na uitwe zalang. Eh, ava tolong ri pa atla ba ya ka liki a simul la ka che yoko. First game, mige sundowns. So sundowns yo na number one ka che yoko. Up until game, you have a child. Game number eight. Sometimes we say, Lick it loud. Well, I was going to go to the number two. Sometimes you're not a league. Chiefs are going to go to the local guy. But I'm not the number one. Sometimes it's the end of the season. Thank you so much, Mamma Jericho. Thank you. I appreciate it. Jericho, stand up. Good evening, my art. I'm officially not all the way from Pretoria. Sorry, man. Uh, flu is killing me here. No, um, don't worry about it. I hope it. you hear me. Eh? We can hear but, you. Too, uh, based on what we saw uh, preseason, uh, well, now you can agree with me. Ma, uh, Orlando Pirates are the number one candidates to actually uh, take the league from Mamelodi Sundowns, man. Hey, yeah, that's well, what I, I say. Thought. Orlando Pirates, and I'm not only saying Orlando Pirates because of it's my team. I support Orlando Pirates. I love Orlando Pirates. But Orlando Pirates, you can see with the signings. The performance is yet to come tomorrow. We are playing 8 p.m. You will see, my brother, through, through, throughout this season, Orlando Pirates. Uh, I don't see Mami Luis Sundowns this time challenging us. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take one more. Uh, good evening, Andy Le Pro Pilane, Nadim Lemkonza. I don't think Kiza Chiefs will win any cup this season. Hmm. I think they'll just play to be in the top four. Because for me, I guess sure Mami Luis Sundowns. Or Chiefs, I got a Salajan. Yeah, one of us are net player, I get a But I think Bassa showed, I think they there wasn't two of us and a little keeper, a sharp because I don't think Peter and Luke were never grand. Yeah. And then uh, I think Sundance is still at the win at this league. I don't think multi mega computer and Pirates, I don't think it will win a league. Anyway, uh, look, 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 So. Hey, there seems to be uh, an understanding and an agreement from many of you, but let's hear from the calls now. Tolisa X is out in Johannesburg. Tolisa. I'm, 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 I'm very happy that everyone is expecting nothing from King the Chiefs, and this could be our advantage. The other thing, the expect there, um, saying Mamelo de Sundowns will take the number one spot, I think they forgot one big club in e. Orlando Paris. Orlando Paris will take the league this coming season. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, X. Uh, let's go to Godfrey. Godfrey is out in Pretoria. Godfrey. Uh, I think Sundowns is going to win the league. Uh, Super Sport is going to be is going to be taking second spot. Keep United, yes, Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Makosonke, uguanongoma. Makosonke. Yebo, agengene endavi. Ageng kala la pa na kumfoto la first half no pro. No, no coach of Chief United is not the best coach in South Africa. Mm. Thank you, Sebonga. And uh, where are we going now? Where are we going? We're going to Mantla or Dixon? Dixon, Dixon, come on. Been a while, Dixon, welcome. Andile. Go for it. Football has evolved in the way it's being run. And as long as we have teams that are named after people. Oh, what happened there? Oh, we seem to have lost you. I'd love to hear what he had to say there. He he was coming with something. At big na pointable corner lap. At big na pointable corner lap. And I'd love to hear back from you. Let's go to Mandla in Whitbank. Mandla. Andile. Hey. Killian said. Right, mm. Get into it. Amen. Uh, it's obvious, Andile. Mm. It's, it's not that we think. It is obvious. We agree that Sundowns are taking it again uh, without a doubt. But what makes me happy is that uh, the technical staff, the coaching staff, the Sundowns, they are not listening to the show now. So they won't be big-headed and think it's going to be easy. 
they have to grind for those results. Whoever becomes number two, three, ah, it's just a bonus for them. But it's over your sundown to agenda. Thank you. I appreciate it. And of course, Thank you guys you. mentioned Supersport. Um, uh, Super Journal, Mazola, reporting this afternoon, just before we went on the air, about uh, Lila K about to join Supersport United. A great acquisition that as well. Mandla, uh, we've just done Mandla. Now let's go to Brian. Uh, Brian. Brian, are you there? Uh, I am. I am here. I'm here. Go for it. Sure, man. I, I think, uh, yeah, no, it won't be an obvious one, but Manuel Sanders will take it. Um, it's I obvious if other... everyone is saying it. This is, I'm yeah, not, but I have not had one person not mention Sundowns at number one. <laughs> Come on, yeah, challenge but, me. But, uh, my, 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 my surprise will be, as uh, United will be, uh, whom I think uh, they will see, uh, finish number number second. Uh, because, I mean, hold on, will, hold on, hold on. Yes, sir. Number two will be Skukune yes. United. Yeah, Skukune Tell United, me why. Yeah. Um, okay, they will go to play in the Confederation Cup, come back early, and then that's where, the, I mean, it will be a, a, a better one between them and the uh, Orlando uh, Pirates and the Super Sport, whom I think they will uh, spend more time in Africa. Uh, they, they, they might last there. So, Kukun United will have time to at least uh, play in, in, uh, in the league in, uh, in South Africa. Okay, it's Kukune number two. Yeah, I'd, I'd love yeah. to see it. My brother plays for Kukune, as you know. Number, so I'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 and one other thing, they've got a good coach, uh, Brazil Shoot, my favorite coach there. Yeah, and okay. then mm-hmm. number three, I think, is going to be uh, Orlando Pirates. Uh, down in the uh, number 16, Golden Arrows and the Royal AM, I think they'll be fighting uh, for relegation. Uh, I appreciate next. you. Thank you so, so much, you, man. Uh, Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to where we're we going. Where we're we going. Where we're we going. Are we going to David out in Nagurleni? David. Oh, Timmy in the lines. Timmy in the lines. David is Nagurleni. Hello. Talk yes. to me. Go straight into it. Yes. Uh, the, the, the thing is, uh, number one for me, it will be decided between uh, Pirates and uh, Sundowns. Well, but decided for me. Uh, the kingmaker in these uh, in these two giants will be Steve Hompela. He's going to decide where the cup is going. Hmm. And then 16, the team that is going on relegation, TS Galaxy is gone. And then playoffs between Puluguan and uh, Royal AM. I want, I, want to go back, I want to go back to your first point. How do you think Steve is going to be the kingmaker? Do you think Steve can take six points from Sundowns? Steve is going to best Sundowns. He's going to prove a point that Rulani arrogant he will backfire wow okay thank you so much david i don't know why rulan is arrogant you just throw him under the bus there but i hear you uh let's stick uh, with the gurleni tribe here and go to the sibe sibe hey good evening my uh, and uh, hello just uh obvious the big goes on uh from my neighbors here uh then seconded by my tatanza number three i'll give it to pirates that is over height for nothing Hmm. So the first Yo. two, you're living in Tswane, <laughs> and then Pirates. Let's see, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to Dixon. Dixon, go to Hi, I am Dile. Hey, go for it, man. Yeah, as I was saying, football has evolved in how it's been run. Eh? Mm. As long as people expect to get five players for, for 20 million rand, ah, they must forget about winning the league. Look hmm. at al Ahri, how much they spend on two players. 93 million, and Dile. Look at Sundowns, how much they're spending. As long as we have teams that are named after people and people are arrogant, they're hiring their friends and they're hiring people because of their legends of the team. Go check the resume for your what what, what 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 are teams what are teams named after what do you mean? Teams named after people. What do you mean? Teams like like Royal Mpisana AM oh, okay. Teams Achieve. That thing. It's not taking us anywhere. Football has evolved. Teams like Manchester United are being sold. Then who's chief? Who's Paris? They can still be sold and give Give them to people who can run them properly. We're going to pump bill, millions into the team. Are you, are, you a chief, are you a chief supporter, Dixon? I'm a chief supporter, Andile. Okay, so give me a little talk about I'm a chief supporter, Andile. People are arrogant, Andile. As long as they're spending 20 million of on five players and expect to get the results. <laughs> Dixon, outcome sang. I appreciate it. I'm going to take the last one because we must play those Guijo songs in honor of the three gentlemen, Pro, uh, Nadim, and Mkonza, vote on the one they want to give that smartphone to. Deboho. Yes, yes, Andy. You're the last one. Go for it, man. Let me hear you before and the guys close. Uh, for a surprise, ne? there's a year football killing a real death. A real death. Yeah, I'm looking at Kizu Chiefs at number one. Nice, I like please, it. I like please that. Record, record, and phone me on the last day of the week. 
Teboho. Guys, don't forget Nadim, it. Teboho. I, I hope Nadim is listening. Where is he calling hear. from? Where are you calling from, Tebo? Teflop. Go Teflop. That's and today, Friday. Oh, okay. Sundowns is getting 2-1 today. Okay. Sundowns is going to be beaten 2-1. Yes, I'm going to the stadium after this. But yeah, you are at home or you are at work? Like yeah, I'm in Poloko and I'm going there. Now I want to know exactly the location where you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, at Sav- I'm at Savannah now. So Savannah, what is Savannah? <laughs> Savannah is a mall. It's a mall. It's a mall. <laughs> okay, where in the mall? Like, which <laughs> shop? McDonald's. Oh, I want uh, Savannah. Uh, Mac- McDonald's, okay. <laughs> I'm not convinced at McDonald's, Tebo, okay. Tebo, we've recorded this. We will play it on the last day of the season. I appreciate you. Thank you so please, much. Enjoy the game. Cuckoo so. oh. number 10. Uh, when you see that guy, scream louder. Thank you so much, guys.